holidays, we'll look at that possibility, and as we identify schools that may uh, fit um, uh, that category of being able to go virtual, we'll submit a waiver to, uh, to the commissioner. That was Knox County School Superintendent Bob Thomas earlier in the week as school leaders began discussing the possibility of applying for a virtual learning waiver. And tonight, breaking news, we have learned a waiver has been granted. Good evening, I'm Lori Tucker. And I'm Bo Williams, a spokesperson for Knox County Schools, telling us a waiver was submitted to Tennessee Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn for consideration. And in just the last 15 minutes, we have confirmed it has been granted to Austin East Magnet High School. The district telling us it was requested because of COVID-19. Now, we don't know what day virtual learning will begin for Austin East, but we do know all other Knox County students will return to the classroom for in-person learning on Monday. And tonight, WATE 6 on your side's Kirsty Crawford hears from a parent as well as the Knox County Education Association about how teachers have been able to handle the constantly changing situation. Relief for some parents. I know my sons really miss school. Alex Brown won't have to work from home or ask for time off to help her kindergartner learn from home. I want my kid to be in school. Of course, I think every parent wants their child to be in school, but I also want my child to be safe. The hope is that this last week was a good reset for teachers, staff, and students. Hopefully, those who are sick are now on the mend. Knox County Education Association President Paula Hancock says. That's one reason we have inclement weather days. Taking inclement weather days, um, you know, for this, it, it allows to me an opportunity for the district to reset, just like they have in the past. She says teachers are resilient. Despite what some might think, educators are ready to go online to an extent. They are prepared for their own sick days and ready to cover for others who have to stay home. It is difficult to absorb, you know, additional, um, you know, students in the classroom. But if you're spreading it out among a team, you know, hopefully you won't have too many kids that you'd have to absorb. Brown says teachers are unsung heroes for their sake and for other parents. She hopes the school district can figure out a way to better plan for these situations so her son can safely stay in school. Are we going to be in a situation where there will be another variant and we will have a bunch of teachers and subs who are sick again? Kirstie Crawford, WATE 6, on your side. And Knox County Schools, not the only school system in our area that has applied for a virtual learning waiver. Yeah, Union, Scott, Cock, and McMinn County Schools, as well as Lenore City Schools, have all been granted a virtual learning waiver as well. And remember, this is all broken down on a school-by-school -school basis, so even if your child's school system has been granted a waiver, it doesn't necessarily mean your child will make that switch to virtual learning.